all right guys welcome back to three styles for another video today we're going to analyze moderna ticker mrna now before we do that let me give you 30 seconds of the general market and for that we're going to look at spy like always that way you can compare and make trades sometimes you have to know where the general market is going before you actually make moves so let's look at the six months it's been market's been streaming up the six months guys straight ahead now you know um if you've been watching my videos i told you it takes a break every time it takes a break it stops on the sma 50 like right here that's the purple line by the way luckily on this one it didn't but it was due for a break now and let me zoom in into the month just like i told you guys a couple of videos ago it looked like it was going to take a small breather and it is it is now signaling uh going a downtrend on the psars on the sma 21 and all that if it was lucky about that like like i said it usually stops on the sma 50 and if we're lucky it stops a, a little bit before but now um that's just so you know what's going on right now don't think that on the news is that oh worst week since june and all of that but you know it just takes a break once in a while guys and it's just due for one and unless they go under the sma 50 then you really have to be concerned because that's like a big uh trade line guys but right now it's still looking good so if probably one or two more days or who knows maybe that might even be it before it reverses again now back to moderna all right so moderna let's let's take a look um by the way moderna is something that is up almost 700 percent now um, for the year so we're going to look at it closely starting at the month now we're going to begin with my hma 14 line that's my fastest swing trade line if candles are forming over it i'm buying if they're forming under it i'm selling and recently it just started forming over it very nicely not only that but the psrs the purple um i'm sorry the, the yellow dots if they're over it there it's a sell if it's under it's a buy and right now they're under and not only that but um let me show you actually in the three months you can see them better see how it's well when it's low float you know it's not much movement but they're still there to signal but like for example over here when it was starting to go up a lot the psrs definitely were following it predicting it and over here going they're going down and over here new new buy signals too now what's interesting about this is that it was due for to take a break and many investors thought it was due to take a break over here you could tell by the big candles if you look at the six months every time it spikes up over the boilinger bands these blue bands that you see behind it the ghost bands every time it spikes spikes up it goes down a lot and over here it spiked up a lot and over here it just went down a lot but the funny thing about that is that there was a lot lots of inflow news around here this is only last week guys um some of the news for example let me give it to you guys uh, biden pushes for more vaccinations and like heavily by the way it's developing a booster shot recommended for pregnant women now in europe test strong against the new delta variant it's experimenting with a single dose for COVID and the flu. Um, so that's really good. Imagine how many people more are going to want to get that, especially, you know, uh, every time the seasons come around. It's ramping up production thanks to a new partnership. And this is all in the last weeks, guys. So I could tell you that this really wanted to take a break over here. But what happened because of the news that was incoming, this is all from this week and started slightly objecting that <laughs> this is why i say news and events before indicators and it started changing the indicators even though this was a really to anybody that's that tune trace was a big sell-off time now or take profit really because you, yeah. you can see where it was it was just time and everything was showing down right the macd was going down the signal lines for the macd was going down and it started looping up around here where the, where the news started coming so in, in matter of fact so right now right now as it is uh, with them being over the HMA 14 lines and back over the the white line, the SMA 21 line, and the PSARs now crossed over to show positive, and everything's showing good, guys. Let me show you the month, the volume. See more positive volume, almost non non negative volume coming in. So right now it is a good time to buy again, even though it was going to take a break. But like I said, the news changed all of that, and, and for new indicators for everybody, uh, it has like uh, two days positive on the MACD. And histogram has about three days and four days positive on the um, PSR signals. So definitely right now, and with everything that it's doing, you know, it's imagine a year from now, it would still be very profitable with it, guys. It's ramping up productions, like I said, and the signals are all showing. By the way, whenever you see new signals coming up, I usually like to wait for the first red day. So buying it here, trying to find the bottom of the day would be nice. But if not, then another red thing. This is and this is by the way with the stock market going down this week. If you remember me showing you, 
so definitely this is definitely a buy signal right now if you guys want to still profit from it and there's still a chance it should still go up for a little bit he has a bunch of news coming for it but yeah that's the breakdown of this right now um let me know if you like it leave a comment and like uh thank you and subscribe